Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Screeny. With the imminent arrival of Toy Story 4 getting fans hyped about the franchise once more, there's never been a better time to reminisce about our favorite characters. We could never forget the likes of Woody and Buzz, but there are often tons of toys within the same frame. Do you think you could remember them all? Join us as we take a look at 10 Toy Story characters you completely forgot about. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos about your favorite movies and TV shows. Number 10. Daisy Daisy had a pretty big part to play in Toy Story 3, although it was mostly in the background. When Woody and his pals are held captive at Sunnyside Daycare by the evil tyrants known as Lotso the Bear, they're desperately searching for ways out. Eventually, Woody discovers that Lotso wasn't always bad and actually had a lovely little girl of his own once, Daisy. The blonde-haired Tots can be seen in flashback scenes as Lotso's backstory is revealed, and it looks like she really loves that crazy bear at one point in time. Lotso is convinced that Daisy replaced her toys and never really loved them at all. But Woody tried to get him to see that there were lost toys that are still loved. The movie describes how Lotso was accidentally left behind, and by the time he got home with two other toys, Big Baby and Chuckles, Daisy's parents had already bought her new ones to cheer her up. It's a pretty sad state of affairs for everyone involved, especially Lotso, who ends up being thrown in the dumpster by his friends who get sick of him. No, no, wait a minute, Big Baby, wait! Number 8. Magic 8-Ball You probably don't remember this one very well, but the Magic 8-Ball has an important part to play in Toy Story. When Woody is down and out about being replaced by Buzz, he picks up the ball and asks it if Andy will pick him to take to Pizza Planet instead of Lightyear. The ball says it's unlikely and Woody gets so frustrated that he throws it down the side of the desk. That gives him the idea to knock Buzz down the side of the desk too, so Andy won't be able to find him if he decides to pick him. Unfortunately, Woody's plans go wrong and Buzz gets knocked out of the window and into Sid's yard, which starts the whole fantastic tale. He may not talk, he may not be a fully-fledged member of Woody's world, but without the Magic 8-Ball, there wouldn't be a Toy Story at all. Thanks, little guy. Oh. Yeah. Number 8. Combat Carl Poor Combat's Carl really got the rough end of the dynamite stick. The often forgot about toy has a short-lived life as one of Sid's sadistic experiments. The character is similar to that of a G.I. Joe and definitely didn't deserve his fate. When we're first introduced to Sid, he's attaching Carl to an M80 explosive in the backyard and blows him to smithereens while Woody and the gang watch in horror from the window. It's a pretty horrendous thing for a Disney movie when you think about it, but it definitely helped to describe Sid's character. It's not hard to see why all the toys are terrified of him and desperate to get Buzz out of his clutches later on. Combat Carl later gets some revenge when pieces of him come back to life as part of Woody's plan to scare Sid into submission towards the end of the movie. As we all know, Sid starts crying like a little boy when all of the toys he's ever experimented on gang up on him to try and make him see the error of his ways. We all know a Sid. Number 7. Hannah's Dolls When Woody devises a plan to get Buzz out of Sid's house, he stumbles across Lightyear having a tea party. By this point, Buzz has gone a little crazy because of Hannah's tea party antics. Two of the characters he's dining with have no heads, prompting him to call one Mary Antoinette. The two dolls look pretty harmless, just totally headless. It's quite difficult for them to enjoy a tea party though, considering they don't have mouths to drink tea with. But Buzz, aka Mrs. Nesbitt, doesn't seem to find them particularly threatening. Woody has to try and persuade a tea drunk Buzz to make a run for it before they're discovered. Like their fallen ally combats Carl, Hannah's stolen and destroyed toys get their own back on Sid by becoming a part of Woody's master plan. And we can't say we blame them. These two dolls are probably part of one of the most underrated scenes in the movie. Who doesn't love the fact that Butch Buzz is getting called Mrs. Nesbitt? You see the hat? I am Mrs. Nesbitt. <laughs> Snap out of it, Buzz! Number 6. See and Say 
Some of the toys can't communicate and have to get by on flashing their lights to be understood instead. Sensei waddles around on his stand and lets his central arrow do the talking during his appearance in Toy Story. Like many of Andy's toys, the Sensei didn't really ever get played with, so it wasn't surprising that he eventually got sold at a yard sale sometime before Toy Story 3. He didn't appear at all in Toy Story 2, but a different Sensei was seen when Ken, Twitch, Sparks, Chunk and Stretch were gambling inside a vending machine. Incidentally, the CNSA type toys are really popular with preschool age kids, so it's surprising that the makers didn't feature it more prominently in the third round. It was situated in a daycare after all. Number 5. The Troll Woody isn't exactly known for his ability to keep calm under pressure, is he? In Toy Story 2, all hell breaks loose when he loses his hat in Andy's room. All of the toys help as he tries to locate it, including Bo Peep and her pink-haired friend, the Troll. Trolls were incredibly popular when the first movie came out, so it's a shame that the part wasn't a little bigger. The bikini-clad toy was fascinated with Buzz in the first movie and could be seen trying to make some serious gains by lifting weights alongside Rock. Rocky, Rex, Mr. Potato Head, Robot, and Snake after Lightyear arrives. The poor thing was booted out along with CNC at a yard sale sometime before the third movie. Who knows, maybe he went on to star in the Trolls movie. Wouldn't that be nice? Number 4. Lenny Lenny is a pretty important character, but he doesn't have that big of a part to play. For a start, he is small in stature, but he has a mean streak that can't be denied. The small toy binocular is helpful to Woody at first, allowing him to get a better look at Sid across the street, but when Woody falls out of favor with the rest of the gang because of his jealousy towards Buzz, Lenny stands idly by and watches as the rest of the toys kick Woody off of a moving truck. He's not a major character, but Lenny is definitely a part of the gang and one of Woody's most noted sidekicks, at least in the first two movies. The character briefly appears in the third movie in a series of home videos taken by Andy's mom, but like the rest of the other toys, he was doomed to be boxed up and carted off to a yard sale. Can we have a moment's silence for our fallen comrades? Number 3. Barrel of Monkeys these little red guys are often shoved to one side in the toyverse as they don't speak up, and they're used by the other toys like tools. When Buzz gets knocked out of the window in the first movie, the others rally around and try to rescue him by getting the monkeys to string together and make a rope. They're not flexible enough to reach him, so really they're just big failures. Slinky and Rex are the brains of the operation and both get frustrated when the monkey chain isn't long enough. If Andy had two barrels of monkeys, they could have saved Buzz a heck of a lot of tea parties in trouble. The characters appear in all three of the movies in a limited capacity and in Andy's wild Wild West play scenario at the start of the second movie. They have also made cameos in the Toy Story shorts on occasion too. Number 2. Troikas We don't know much about Andy, but we do know that he has a really varied taste in toys, including the delightful Troikas. The egg-shaped animals are similar to Russian nesting dolls. There's a dog, a cat, a duck, a fish, and a bug that all hop inside one another. The Troikas were one of the first toys viewers saw as they were present when Slinky was getting everyone together in Andy's room for a meeting. When these lovable little dopes heard Sid's voice for the first time, they were so scared that they all had to hide inside each other. They do pop up in Toy Story 2 as well when Buster the dog comes into Andy's room and knocks them over in his excitement. Later in the same movie, their names are read out when Buzz takes a roll call, but by the time the third movie rolls around, it looks like they're gone for good. There's no mention of where they went, so we can only assume that they've been handed down to Andy's little sister Molly. Let's see if they pop up in the fourth movie. Rocky Rocky offers up some hilarious moments in the franchise, but he's just not given enough screen time to make him truly memorable. The burly, white-haired toy is seen lifting weights, aka Tinker Toy Dumbbells, and generally gives off a lovable macho vibe. Rocky doesn't speak, and instead communicates by grunting when necessary, and is often the hired muscle. 
He works out with Buzz and helps him repair his ship with tape when it gets damaged. When Woody is accused of trying to get rid of Buzz by knocking him out of the window, the rest of the toys trap him as Rocky prepares to attack. Plus, the plan is foiled when Andy approaches. He's long gone by the time Toy Story 3 rolls around, but we never find out why. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content, and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.